towards you, pretty much why she didn't call you back or why she ain't text you. So right off the bat, y'all, I want to say this. You can assume off rip that this chick had low interest in you. She wasn't a high interest chick. And there are a few reasons why this could have happened. But before I get into that, you know, I want to say this. Guys, pretty much how to deal with this kind of stuff. You have to have an abundance mindset. I know you hear that all the time from every dating coach. I hear it all the time. Abundance mindset, abundance mindset. But it's true. It's really true. The only way for you to get that abundance mindset and, you know, the, most, of the, most of the guys that come and approach me, the problem they have really is they're not putting themselves out there enough to really get that abundance mindset. Some guys are really focused. They, they're doing their own thing. They're grinding. Obviously, everybody can grind a little bit harder, but most of the time, it's really that they're just not putting themselves out there enough to meet the females that they want to meet, or they're not seeing the quality females that they want to get. And in order to get that abundance mindset, you got to put yourself in the situation with them. So make sure you're doing that, guys. And, you know, back to the points, a few things for a few reasons why she ignored you. Number one, you could have just pissed her off. Uh, niggas say stupid shit all the time. I've said some stupid things in the past that I, I learned from my mistakes. I've said some stupid shit, but I definitely advocate a direct approach. You just got to be smooth with your game and how you're talking to these chicks, you know, so you're putting them in the right mind state. You know, not being extra corny or stupid belligerent about it. There's a total difference between being direct and being like just a genuine asshole. That's not the way to go, guys. So if you pissed her off or whatever, then it is what it is. You might just want to charge that to the game and keep the shit moving. Second thing is you over pursued too much. You probably texted her too much. You hit her up too much. She ended up getting annoyed with you and just decided to pretty much cut it off. In this case, charge it to the game too, but the way you charge it is a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? Whereas the first chick, if you pissed her off, they're pretty, there might not be a way of coming back from that, but this way, there is a way for you to come back. You just gotta, you know, essentially remove yourself from the situation and give her time to, you know, reciprocate it back. If you built enough interest to where she still has some type of, you know, feelings or not necessarily feeling some type of chemistry with you or some kind of connection. If she has some type of connection with you that you built up, then she'll end up reaching back out to you after a period of time because she'll end up thinking, oh, well, what the hell happened? He just stopped talking to me, totally ghosted me. And at first he was giving me all these all this attention. I've had cases where, and that was back when I didn't even know what I was doing. Um, I noticed like kind of indirectly, I was like, subconsciously I was like, dang, well, she's like pulling back on her reply time is getting like longer and longer. So I'm like, maybe I'm like oversaturating her with messages or maybe I'm trying to reach out to her too much. When that happens, they'll start, you know, you'll see the adjustments and you also have to make your adjustment to how they're acting. Even though you're supposed to lead it, at that point you fucked up. So over pursuing can cause a girl with low interest to just, you know, go even, uh, it'll, it'll cause her to go ghost. So essentially pull all the way back, let it go. Like you're charging subconsciously, you need to charge it to the game. If she comes back, she comes back. You know, make sure you uh, continue that approach in a different way. Don't don't continue to text her every single day because I've had guys all the time, oh, well, she texts me every day, so, so what happened? Bro, females will talk about nothing for fucking ever. Nigga, don't freaking text her every single hour of the day. Don't hit a reply every right after every minute she sent a reply back. I don't care how fast you reply. I've had chicks reply instantly right after I sent a message. Flat paragraphs, and I sent like a sentence. Don't mean I'm hitting her right back same time. Switch it up, man. Make sure you know you're keeping things not consistent. They like inconsistency. You gotta keep them on edge with that inconsistency. The last reason that she ignored you in general, it'll be these cases happen when, uh, let's say you went out to the club or whatever, or to a bar, 
and you got her number and you didn't really you know i don't want to say this like because at the same time guys we are the prize but you got to understand when you're going out here trying to get quality women you do have to make the first approach after they send the two six signals that's what i like to do that's what i promote for you guys so make the approach after they send the choosing signals but at the same time you have to make sure that you're creating enough interest for her to want to come you have to display your high quality your high value without displaying it if you know what i mean don't be cocky about it she should be able to feel that presence on you but even if she can't feel that sometimes it takes just a little bit more because you're in an environment, you know, where all these chicks is mingling, all these chicks is attention whores, all these chicks got fat asses, big titties, and they got these tight ass dresses on, and everybody drunk, so it's kind of a different, you know, situation. With that said, pretty much this last one happens, and it's, she just had too low interest to begin with. So, if you got the chick number that night, you send her a text like an hour later or the next day, or three days later, I don't know what your strategy is. I'll probably make a video later about what my strategy is. And that's totally, uh, it changes depending on my interaction with each female. But pretty much depending on that, what you created in the instance when you met her and got her number or you exchanged numbers, that's going to depend on whether or not she will remember you and respond to you. So I've had cases where chicks remember me, remember me after like a week or two, and I and I texted them out of the blue, and they were like, "Hey, like, what took you, what took you so long, or, or hey, how you doing, or what's up, blah blah blah, where you stay at, that kind of stuff." Some instances where I sent a message a week later, and the chick was like, "Who is this?" It's a hit or miss, y'all. It's a numbers game sometimes. The last case, you you really just need to charge that off. And you shouldn't even feel bad about it because you had the mindset that it doesn't even matter. You don't care. You don't give a fuck to have a lasting impression on a bitch. It's just the fact that she might have not seen you in as much of the light that you would have liked. It is what it is. But she might have just not had enough time to build enough interest uh, between that time and then you hitting her up. So, you know, you charge up to the game. It shouldn't even matter to you because obviously... If she ain't feel the connection, you ain't feel no damn connection to the bitch either. So it's not that big of a deal if you know you miss out on one or, one or two of those. You still have, that's why the abundance mindset comes in again. That's where that comes into play. Making sure that you're prospecting. Miss one, next one coming. Some chicks is gonna remember you just from the sighting. They're, they're gonna have such, they're gonna have such a high interest in you where you can leave them on the on the shelf for about two weeks and then hit them up and they're like, yo, I've been waiting for you to hit me up. Matter of fact, sometimes you need to thank some of these chicks because, you know, it's better than being uh, indirect and, and getting let on by a chick. And next thing you know, you got finessed out of a couple dates and you got a free food, free this, free that. You done got finessed out of 150 bones and you sitting here butt hurt like, yo, what the fuck? This chick ain't even free. She just ghosted me after the second or third date. I ain't get no play or she'll continue to lead your ass on you get friend zone and you continue to go on dates with the chick and this, this evil bitch done fucked you up over out of a bunch of money it's better to have a situation like that and to understand you know what type of chick she is so you can charge her and just keep that shit moving once you swerve her and keep that shit moving you avoid unnecessary bullshit so also look at it that way that's a positive right there that's pretty much how you got to deal with these chicks they hit you with an ignore or not respond, let, let your ass on red, some bullshit like that. Don't even worry about it. All right, y'all, so y'all like, comment, share, subscribe. Check out the, the links in the description box. The Patreon is up. Man, make sure y'all continue to prospect. Don't worry about these hoes if they ignored you. They probably just saved your pockets. So continue to think positively on that. Deuces.